you may have seen my video with James, who has a very kindly disposition. Here it is, right here or here. I'm not sure. In much the same way, I've befriended and come across someone with a very kind, laid back, and unrelentingly upbeat disposition in much the same situation as James. Her name's Wendy. And I'm not going to belabor this before starting, but I will come back here with a few reflections about my conversation with Wendy. Here goes. Okay. Uh, we appreciate any help we get out here. And, uh, you know, I wish everybody well and good holidays and everything. And hope, you know, hopefully the world is not in such a horrible, horrible situation. We hope to have some positive and and uh, I want to get off the streets, but just pray for us and help us get off the streets. Keep your eyes out for people like me and just give help if you can. If you can't, you know, that's okay too. But a hello or a whatever yeah. is nice. Just saying hey, it helps. It does. Yeah. Helps a lot. Like I said, I've been out here like 12 years now and it's like, I really want to go home. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it is, a, it is a lot involved in it. So, you know, I do understand that there's things going on. So. I just want to say I wish everybody hey and and good holidays and all that. So it's starting to get a little chilly, so you get in the holiday spirit or whatever. That's all I want to say. Is cause yeah. Is there anything you know. do on a regular basis to help? You seem like you keep a pretty good attitude. I try. Yes, I do try, and I use I use my notebooks to keep like bad thoughts or what I do in here though is like try to keep my memory going i want i want to remember names and places and i try to do presidents or musicians or whatever i try to keep my memory going so i use these two uh if i have like if i do have a bad day i get that get rid of it or just try to keep my memory in in good shape you trap it on the page right yeah right yeah, yeah. well yeah in a way yeah. monkey you, you yeah sort of yeah sort of like that yeah but I just, you know, I, I love going to the park here. It's a beautiful park. It is, yeah. I really enjoy the park. So most days I go up there and try to go spend time there. But but I do hang here sometimes. Do you know the owner? <laughs> but it's a nice, I don't really know him, no. But, I mean, I've seen them. I've been here two years now. So I just, you know, I like this little mall. It's a nice little mall. Yeah. And people are pretty decent. So, you know. Yeah. But, like I said, I try to go to the park mostly. <laughs> Because I, I do enjoy the park. No, so once in a while I won't go there, like if it's really raining bad or something. But but I like going there, so I enjoy. It. <laughs> so that's what I do. I read books, or you know, I try to do puzzles or anything to keep your mind busy, or stuff like that. Help, yeah. like I pick up trash and stuff like that if I see stuff around, and try to clean up the area at least a little bit. Uh, that's a, that's about a, how I spend my day, really. You know, I try not to cause trouble or nothing, but you know, yeah. Sometimes people just decide that I guess almost homelessness is a trouble. Yeah. But I'm not a troublemaker, and you know, I just try to. That's why I go to the park mostly because because it's a par public place, you know, yeah. and it's not like anybody's business or anything like that. Personal. I really enjoy going there too. It's a beautiful park, and uh, people are very lucky to have one like this here. It's a, it is very beautiful. I don't think people in Atlanta are given enough credit. There's Central Park in New York. There's yeah. parks in other cities. People don't know about people on park that much outside of Atlanta. It's a real nice park. Yeah. Very nice. And people really, the people that work there or, or volunteer there do a really good job and take care of it. I wanted to say that too. And I, I try to do my part too just to pick up the trash and stuff. And it's, yeah. you know, I don't sit here and tell everybody or, or go over there and volunteer, with, you know, going around with the bags and stuff. Right. But I do do whatever I can. And, and I think they do a really great job. Well, that's nice of you to do your part. I mean, because I don't know many people that <laughs> take it upon themselves to pick up in the park when they're not. Well, I, I do try to do that because I, I don't like litter and all that. So I try to help. But but I, but they do do a, a very good job over there. They they really do a nice job of keeping the park together, you know. And uh, the restrooms are usually pretty decent and stuff yeah. like that. So the people that are there, volunteering or working, usually do a pretty good job. It's a really nice park. I really enjoy it. This place here, I just you know, people have been pretty decent, so I don't. They don't really bother me too much. Once in a while, they might tell me <laughs> that I got to go somewhere else, but. They don't come here and try to videotape you like I do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, no, that's not a problem. A lot it of is. things you can do, you know, if you can and you try. 
I know it's a rough road, but yeah. But yeah, that's wonderful. You can what's, still go. What's something that you you can do that you that's amazing. you picked up and. Actually, I used to work a lot, and I missed a lot of things like stopping and smelling the flowers. Yeah. So, so out here, I have seen a lot of you know things that I never noticed before because I was working always. Yeah. So I noticed things like uh, different flowers, different birds, different you know animals, people, just watching people, uh, different you know you see if someone's maybe sad or or happy or yeah. whatever you, you know you just kind of see more right, you notice yeah. everything you know you're busy going to work and you're picking up your coffee or your soda or whatever and you're going to work and then you come home and you do your thing but but when you're out here and you're not really going to work now i go to the park or whatever but still you know you notice little things that that you might not notice for any other time yeah if someone's sitting there sad or or homeless or whatever you might notice more yeah. being here looking at it than when I was working all the time because I was a, I worked a lot where'd but, you work but I, I I worked in different places but RGIS inventory service have you ever heard of that no, I worked there for like 13 years really but before that I worked in convenience stores okay so you know I met a lot of people and I, I loved my customers and everything they're like family to me but yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I loved working for RGIS because for me it was different all the time. It was there was traveling and it was a lot a long day sometimes, but it, but it was I liked it. I yeah. really loved it. I guess I could say I was observant then, but but now there's nothing compared to because you don't really have time. You know, yeah, you people who are going to work, thinking about your work. you're in the yeah. way, or you or you're you're on your way to work driving and you're yeah. thinking about traffic and you're driving to work. You're not really noticing. Say, oh, there's a homeless person over there. You know. Right. Or you know, or or flowers or different plants. Or, yeah. Like now, that's a big thing. I I notice different birds, pretty birds, and, but especially people. Yeah. I notice a lot of people in different different expressions, different things they're doing. Little kids. And it's fun to watch the little kids. Just have more time to actually observe what's going on rather than Get than just rushing business. to work. Going well, not rushing, but going yeah. to work and yeah. coming home or whatever. It's a whole different atmosphere, really. But I got to do a lot of things. Like, I've been to several different states, actually, that I might not have been to <laughs> when I was working. Yeah. So there are some there's some good points that I've had, yeah. but I've had a rough time. But it's yeah. still, I still try to keep a upbeat attitude if I can. <laughs> well, you're helping me today by talking to me. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta try to keep yourself yeah. in a better mood. Like you can look around you and see different things going on and you can sit there and say oh well that person over there has a bad limp or that person over there has a injury and it's and you sit here and you say well or no social skills or something or they don't smile or they don't yeah. and then you say hey good morning or something and they'll say oh and they'll be like startled that you said something to them yeah. it's like oh hey <laughs> sometimes that happens you know you'll say something to somebody and they're not used to saying something but then they say oh you said hello to me yeah. Uh, that's happened before. Yeah. It's kind of strange, but, but some people aren't used to people saying something to them. So, but I've talked to a lot of different people too, and it's like it's very interesting because you learn a lot about different people in different a areas. But I've gotten to see some different things that I wouldn't be able to see. So I try to f sit here and say, okay, what's positive about this? <laughs> yeah. What's the biggest thing you've learned about people? I always knew people were good and decent anyway, and I, I've always dealt with people in my jobs, so it's not really like learning anything really about people except that that a lot of people are, it's not that they're meaning to be mean or that they're ignoring people or anything, it's just that they're living their life and they're going, like they go here, there and everything, and they don't really have time and they're not really noticing something, but it's not because they're not meaning to, it's just... It's just life. And that I've noticed, but but really I've dealt with people a lot in my life. So oh, really people are just yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy people. I like I like meeting different people, watching the different clothes they wear. Yeah, I really do like to watch. I used to sit like near Walmarts or whatever and just watch the Walmart people. But That's a front row seat. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and they used to <laughs> they used to have I think on the internet they used to have something about walmart outfits or whatever 
but I used to, <laughs> I used to, I used to have my little fashion show, you know, just sit there and to myself uh-huh. and say, oh, I love that outfit, and this one's sporting this, and some of the nice things they wear, and different things, and some of the little kids' clothes, I have noticed that they've come a long way, mm-hmm. and little kids, you know, little kids love playing dress up and stuff like that, yeah. so now little kids' clothes are like, some of the little girls have the frilly dresses and stuff, and they can play in them, but they can look pretty too. It's like, I've noticed that there's a lot of difference in kids' clothes these days and different things like that, and that people are more tolerant of, maybe a long time ago they might have made fun of some, you know, uh-huh. kids in a certain clothes or didn't have sneakers or whatever. It seems like a lot more tolerance of, mm-hmm. or that anything goes, like, like if you have jeans on or if you have a dress tuxedo it's okay stuff like that well we used to like like on holidays like thanksgiving and stuff like that we used to put on gowns and dress up you know for the holidays you know and i don't know if people still do it but i I like the old traditions but i like that that um people aren't judging people and and not you know saying well well look at what they're wearing this is clothes it's just whatever <laughs> maybe because i'm older and i'm not in school when you're not hearing the kids say you know oh well, what are they wearing <laughs> i don't know if that's Where, the reason where'd you go did you go to high school in atlanta no nah, i'm from new york okay. west point is the military there's a little town right near that's that's called cornwall and that's where i'm from it's not everybody thinks the city right away but i'm not from the city i'm from about an hour north of, but it was i loved it it was great Maybe it's because I'm not in school no more and I'm not hearing what, what the kids are saying. Oh, look at that. What's he wearing? <laughs> but it just seems like everything's okay. You know, people don't people don't get nasty about that. Or maybe it's just because they're busy running back and forth. Yeah, I talked about earlier. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of things, but it's like I I've always dealt with people anyway, so it's like I've always gotten along with people pretty. I tell you one thing. You're not the middle child, are you? Yes, I am the middle child. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I in the middle child in eight children, so it's kind of hard to be the middle. But, You're one of them. But I am the middle. <laughs> I'm the middle age one, I guess. Oh, I was gonna say something about this computer age stuff because yeah, so there's some nastiness going on with that. But but that's what I don't want to get into. But there is nastiness there. There is lots, and it's dangerous because it's a bad situation because everything now is computer. Everything you do, like anything you buy, anything you order, food, it's all about those hashtags and those, yep, and the computer and all that. So yep. it gets kind of dangerous if you have a criminal who is using computers. Yeah, it gets in the wrong, power gets in the wrong hands. It's not yeah, fair. it gets bad, yeah. That's all I got to say about that. I don't want to get it. Wendy, but, I, I really appreciate you talking. Is. I'm inspired by you. Listen, anything else you want to say? No, I guess I'm good. You good? <laughs> Give anybody any advice, or maybe, maybe if you had a billboard and you put anything on it, what would it say? I love you. Be good. Enjoy the holidays. I love my family, Aww. and I miss and wish they were here and around. Me too. <laughs> any of them. <laughs> but um, but that's about it, you know. <laughs> and I wish everybody well, and you know, good holidays. I know. Sometimes it's tough, and sometimes it gets really tough around the holidays. So, so I would love to have any family, friends, anybody who knows me, come and get me. (laughs) As you saw and heard there, Wendy has a positive outlook, had a job for over a decade, which is more than at least the creator of this video can say in the job department. Homeless people are not a monolith. They're not all the same. I think that's clear. We did not get into her past very much. However, it seems like Wendy would be a good find for certain establishments or employers. I'm going to brainstorm on how to help her. It may just be a crowdfund to make her Christmas a little bit better as we are close to the holidays. And feel free to comment and share your ideas.